Hello everyone, welcome to beamodeler.com. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing how to create a cable trace. What are the settings available with cable trace? We will be creating new sizes and new types in cable trays and we'll be applying some filters to cable trays to differentiate fire cable trays and data's power cable trays so we will try to draw vertical and horizontal cable trays in probate also let's discuss what are the types available in cable tray perforated tray so you can see that the holes will be there inside solid bottom tray so we'll be having the solids without any holes or anything layer trays and we will be having steps and each trays in each side wire mesh it will be mesh to tray like this and trunking will be there for data purpose it will be made up of plastic or steel also there are a couple of meetings materials available for tray makings aluminium fiberglass steel and stainless steel reinforced plastics these are available and each tray types consist their purpose and advantage and disadvantage. I want you to check um, in your side that what is the advantage of uh, using perforated tray and what is the disadvantage of on each one of them. So you can say this perforated tray will have the air circulations but the solid trays will not have the air circulation inside that. So like that each one of them will have their own advantage and disadvantages for example wire mess will not be able to carry much weights so based on that we may have to think and the purpose of usage from that let's go to revit let's say i have renamed this room number as plant room one consider this is going to be our plant room and we need to place some cable trays horizontally and vertically before going into that we need to understand in Revit, we'll be able to draw cable trays only on the plan view, something like this. And you have to be make sure you are using the fine. If you are in course view, it will show a single line. Like this. And make sure that go nearby and select the element. You will be able to see the edge like this on the other end also. You want to check in 3d we will be able to make section box out of it and you can zoom it inside and make sure it is in fine not in medium it will show as much as detail go back to the power plan and draw cable tray again going to the system cable tray in this direction since it says automatic connection the cable tray made connections in this place if you want to draw downwards you'll be able to change the elevation height zero draw it and you can see them going downwards in this place let us check using tab key you'll be able to select continuously these trays as discussed in ductworks and we can make a section box in this place the cable tray which is running downwards like this okay let's delete this and consider we need a cable trace which is running from this room to the other room into the corridor let's say 300 millimeter and height will be 50 millimeter from here to this direction I'm drawing this cable tray uh, without mentioning any types if you know if you remember if you practiced pipes and duct works they have the settings of systems sanitary system duct will be supplied supply air return air will be there for cable trays there is no systems by default in Revit. it will not create any systems but we can add our own parameter or we can use our existing parameter which is called service type the service type will be very useful to differentiate the systems so this tray will be used for 
for purpose so let's say again i'm creating by defining the service name as fire and the fire trace will have 50 by 50 from here to this direction i have not considered any width gap so we can change that later let's create uh, say for example we need to create a solid bottom trace let's consider this is need to be a data trunking so we can edit this type and we will be able to duplicate this and we can name this as trunking let it be as the fittings will be as same similar to the previous one let it be as it is the size will be 50 by 50 if you need any other sizes if you have that in your in your countries or in your marketplace you can go to the settings which is available here electrical settings or under manage go to the electrical settings which is available in this place we have to go under cable tray settings and you will be able to see sizes you can add a size if you have any other sizes in your countries let's say for example we may have 20 millimeter size and it is not allowing us to do let's say 900 is there and let's say 60 select ok the size will be added into the list you have to tick this option to list it under this size option go to the system cable tray it is a trunking 50 by 50 let's make this as 60 it's just an example purpose usually and we are making a trunking for data these all trays are drawn at the height levels 0 in the ground level I need to make them to higher level say for example 2500 now if I make a section box out of this which are running in high level going back to the same room let's place some of the components say distribution board from electrical equipment so this board will be placed at 1200 height like in this place in this place and we can create another equipment say this is not a distribution board lighting fixture let's load a family electrical map component this is going to be a power side component distribution let's take this metering switchboard and single phase and okay let me take a couple of main boards distribution boards let me go ahead and place metering switchboard at this place I'll try to place distribution board okay let's place this on the other wall one light panel one distribution board 
nearby like this okay so let's create a, another cable tray from this panel to the other end which is placing again on 2500 level make a section box for these elements and check that how it appears let's reduce this use the trim and extend and the T connection will be formed automatically. Now, we need to create cable trays which need to be uh, downwards in this place in the, in the connecting two panels. So for, for that, so you know that we cannot create a cable tray which is running in the, along the wall in rivet. That's a main disadvantage of this one. So we have to copy this element in section view. Make a section, double click the section head or right click and open it. As I said, we have to make fine to view the cable trays clearly. Copy one of this cable tray, 300 millimeter cable tray using copy tool like this. and we have to rotate this using rotate command 90 degree we will be able to reduce the height Go to the floor plan. Now you must be able to see the cable tray which we have rotated in this place. You can use the move command to move it other side and rotate it. Now move it wherever we need it. Maybe here in the section view. Panels are not visible. Use the visibility graphics and check. And it is hidden in the section box. We have to extend it. Let's say we are dropping it in this corner and we can move the panel to the right side like this and take a copy of this cable tray place it here let's make this as 200 use the rotate key 90 degree And this is the problem with rivet that we won't be able to stretch it you have to use some other tricks like aligning commands and you have to make your alignment works and go to the system tab and cable tray fitting take cable tray fittings that you wanted to connect and let me go ahead and use the same fittings I'll try to place upwards and a 
if it is needed we can mirror it and we'll be able to drop this and change this into 200 we can connect it like this so this is how you will be able to connect your cable tray if you need along the wall like this so in rivet the other way which is not possible by default so as we discussed we don't have any systems with rivet that defines the cable trays so by default we can define it in the service type what type that you defining we are defining the power power so this these are all going to be power make sure that the service type under power this will be fire okay so let's go to the flow plan so we have created a new type stating ranking we have created a new size 60 for example purpose we have placed a couple of cable trays in this place similarly you will be able to place cable trays and you do your practice the cable tray will be useful for cable arrangements the other thing is that to differentiate the cable trays using filter uh, i'll show you one example that how we can use it we will be discussing about the filter later time in advance so go to visibility graphics or view tab and you'll be able to see filter option in this place or directly you can press vv and go to filter in this place add we have different things for pipe and duct works we don't have any filters for cable tray add a new filter saying cable tray power it applies to only cable tray fitting cable tray and the rules will be and so in this case only one rule is going to apply which is for service type equals power in that time what to do be done so like where is it domestic cable tray sorry cable tray add into list this is going to be visible the line color going to be red color select ok ok once if you are applying the filter you will be able to see your cable tray color will be changed into red similar way you will be able to apply for your fire red color or some other colors that you wanted to define and to the data also so this is how you will be able to apply your filter to your cable trays so thank you so much for watching see you in the next tutorial if you have any comments related to cable trace you can leave it below thank you